You've played characters who are Italian, Greek, Jewish, and alien. Are you Italian? No. Greek? No. Jewish? No. Alien? Jury's still out. Please welcome Tig Notaro. Hi, welcome to Under a Rock with Tig Notaro. I'm Tig. I'm a comedian and I don't follow pop culture. I don't watch a lot of TV or movies. So I have a really hard time recognizing famous people. And on this show, I interview famous people to try and figure out who they are. Please welcome this person. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, this is nice. Do you like it? It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> OK, truth comes out. What do you have there? Uh, well, I have peppermint tea. Do you want some? If you don't I don't mind. mind. No, not at all. <laughs> Did you try and choose a? That's good. A... <laughs> Thank you. Um, would you say you're good at being famous? I don't think of myself as famous. I, I, I have a sort of theory. I call it the bag of dog food syndrome. Uh, Do tell. You know, there are people like see an advertisement for dog food on TV, and then they see it somewhere in the store or something. I go, well, yeah, that I saw that on TV. That's how I, I feel. <laughs> I feel like the bag of dog food. That's just this thing. Does that make sense? Um, you want a clue? Yeah, I would love to have a clue. Okay. Well, the I, first clue, it yeah. turns out, mm -hmm. is a food clue. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Um, I'm vegan. Yeah. Okay. Vegan, vegan wings. Even this is vegan? Yeah. Vegan wings. The celery is definitely vegan. And this has something to do with you? I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> or else it's like, what are we doing? Are you from the show Wings? Wow, great. This is so good. All right, so um, as it turns out, we actually have someone in common. Oh. We both appeared in movies with Ken Marino. <laughs> uh, we'll give him a call to get uh, your next clue. Alexa, call Ken Marino Mobile. Calling Ken Marino's Mobile. Hello? Uh, Ken. <laughs> King! <laughs> How are you? you? I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm sitting here with our, our oh. friend. So I'm trying to, I think, learn his name or get a clue or to, to just learn more about him. Right, right. Well, uh, let me see if I can help. Uh, your guest and I were in a, a little movie called Gattaca, in which I played... Uh, the breakout role of sequencing technician. <laughs> and I, can, I still remember my lines if you want to know them. I, I know them by heart, but I'd like to hear you say them. Yeah, here they are. You ready? Yeah. How, how long the actor says something, and then the other line is, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Just, My God, Ken. It's like hearing them again for the first time. <laughs> it's just like, I would tell you what your uh, guest is most famous for, uh, but um, much like a monk, I'm taking a vow of silence. And that was your clue. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he <laughs> was on the show Monk. <laughs> Ken? Uh, Chig, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ken, that's enough. We have to go. That was Ken. Alexa, hang up. Please tell me this has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Toe, knee. Tony, <laughs> arm. Tony, 
arm shawl. Wait, you can tell me, you can just say no. No, <laughs> forget the arm. I thought this was charades. You all of a sudden just dropped out of talking to me. Perhaps I didn't understand the uh, whole. <laughs> Perhaps you know. we don't either. Okay, so. Tony, Tony shawl ear <laughs> lobe. Tony shawl lobe. That was good, Tony. Thank you. I'm, that took I'm nothing. sweating now. Are you? Because of the shawl. <laughs> Tony Shaw lobe. Tony Shalhoub. I've heard of Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> why, why didn't you just say Tony Shalhoub? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you the proper intro that you deserved. All right. Well, we could have saved us a lot of time if we had just... If I just would have opened that? Yeah. This is a thick one, okay? Oh, damn, okay. My guest today, he's a celebrated actor of stage and screen who has won four Emmys. No. Tony! That, that's not true. Oh, Tony, that's four just, right Emmys. There, that's false. That's that, false. There's no, you're trying to, like, push this away. The three, I've only won three. In a daytime. For the special from, uh... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> for, that was an appearance. Don't, I was doing a Tony, broad... Tony, Tony, No, no, it was an appearance. You have four Emmys. No, no, no. And you thought you had three. Five. Let's just call it five. <laughs> four SAG Awards, a Golden Globe, <laughs> and a Tony. Tony. <laughs> Tony. This is insane. It is, actually. <laughs> Tony. I don't know why you bring that out of me. <laughs> I have not ever done that with anyone on this show. It feels good, though, actually. He currently stars in the award-winning show The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, was a fan favorite on the sitcom Wings, and is best known for eight seasons of the hit show Monk, in which he plays a bag of dog food. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I like you, Tony. I'll be honest. I like you. I, I like, like your vibe. You too. Alexa, dramatic lighting. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Do you like I it? I do. <sighs> Let's get serious here. I've been serious this whole time. <laughs> 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 Turns out my guest today was Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> You're watching Funny or Die TV. Boop, boop, boop. And now, ASMR with Kelly Whispers. Is everyone still relaxed? Getting those brain tingles? These gloves are very dirty. I wonder what they were used for originally. Foot surgery, gardening, murder. the meat and potatoes there. <laughs> Please welcome Tig Notaro. Hi, welcome to Under a Rock with Tig Notaro. I'm Tig Notaro. I'm a comedian and I don't follow pop culture, so I haven't seen a lot of TV shows or movies and that makes it hard for me to recognize famous people. And on this show, I interview famous people to try and figure out who they are. So please welcome this person. Nice to meet, meet you. you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How uh, are you? I, I'm great. So. You are for sure the tallest person we've had oh, on okay. Under a Rock. Okay. And uh, I said, bring me the tallest uh, person. And, and they, did they do a height thing when they had all the pictures in that? Yeah. They did? Running okay. past the 7-Eleven. Running 7 past the 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do a fun fact. <laughs> the excitement is just, the excitement is just. Well, it's fun. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. That's the idea. Wow, okay, so you do like uh, comedy. You took improv classes at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Yes, I did. What is something that you've learned in improv that even if you don't become a professional 
improviser. Yes. <laughs> what can you take with you? Uh, it kind of allows you to just lighten, lighten up a little bit, have a little bit more fun. It's like, you're going to be a child lost in the, in the desert. It's like, okay, I guess that's what I'm doing this morning, right? And so, well, let's that's, see not, that. that's not, oh, oh you want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see a child lost in the desert. Oh, wow. Yeah, are, are you going to be in this improv act with me? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to jump in. I've never done improv other than life. <laughs> but, um, but I'll do what I can. Oh, gosh, we're going to need makeup because I'm going to start sweating. <laughs> um, OK. We typically ask, no, no, this is this okay. what I learned. All right. We ask the audience for a, uh, for a one word suggestion. Okay, desert. desert. How about a, a baby lost in, in the desert? Okay, come on. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. This is, this is, this, we're probably gonna need more space. We're definitely gonna need more space. This is, this is nuts. Okay, okay, so right. oh my our one gosh, word suggestion is, is desert. And, and it's a baby lost in the desert. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh, oh little baby. Mommy. <laughs> You're still so tall. Hi. Mommy? Yes, baby. Um, it's getting really hot out here. Why, th th thank you for coming down to my level, Mother. But I'm, uh, you're such a big baby. Can't well, you see? Yes, I can. Yes. Let me take you home to our house and let's get out of the desert. Wait, that was on the plan. We could have done that this whole time? Yes. Why, why are you just now telling us? Well, because I'm trying to wrap up the scene. You're trying to wrap up the scene. <laughs> oh. uh. now, now you and I both have to write an apology letter to UCB Theater. Oh, this is this is <laughs> this is going to just kill their enrollment. Now I could go. All right, you're six seven. Black. You gigantic. You're black. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. But I could be like, okay, this guy's really tall. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're an athlete. I just. Am I supposed to give an athlete? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You are an athlete. Yes. This completely makes sense. Okay. Is it possibly basketball? Um, yes, there is a possibility. High, high possibility that's basketball. Would you like another clue? I would love another clue. Okay, good. There, there's some, there's some things over there that might help you. Oh. All right. Let's see. Can you, can you make a shot? Oh, wow. Hey! Oh, oh. You got the meat and potatoes there. <laughs> Here you go. This is from me to you. I'll open this when I get home tonight. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you went out and got uh, You know, it's just for having me here. Oh. oh, look at that. This is incredible. Yes. I think I... Is this for you or me? I, I, I think it's for you because it has your name on it. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is so nice. Thank you. Well, I just, I, I assume that after this, you'll probably want to take up basketball similar to me wanting to do uh, stand-up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Would you like another clue? I, yeah, I want another okay, clue. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, now, for my final clue, I wanted to give you my take on Mount Rushmore to help you guess my first name. And one of the original faces on Mount Rushmore shares my last name. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? This is the Mount Richard Rushmore. Richard Simmons? Is that Richard Simmons? <laughs> oh, these are all Richards. Yes. Yes. There's little Richard. Yes. Richard okay. Nixon. Okay, you're, right. get, you're getting it. Yeah. You're yeah. getting it. Uh, I'm going to take this home with me, by the way. I don't know what's your prop budget, but this is going to come with we me. We use this prop for every episode. <laughs> <laughs> we make it work. Do you? Okay. Uh, and then one of the original ones um, on Mount Rushmore also uh, carries my last name. Alexa, who is on Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore is a massive sculpture carved in the Black Hills region of South Dakota, and the granite faces depict U.S. Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Jefferson? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Richard Jefferson. Very nice to meet Richard you. Richard Jefferson. Yes. Very right nice here in the flesh. Yeah, yes, yes. Very, I'm very gonna nice go ahead and still reveal who you are. Okay, you reveal. <laughs>
Your reveal. Let's Even see. after I guessed it. Yes. You did a really good job, by the way. That's the, the big reveal. You did an excellent job. Oh, thank you. Do you, you. remember like a half hour ago when you, you, we were both on our knees improv -ing? Yeah. My guest today launched his basketball career with the Arizona Wildcats. Bear down. Reaching the championship game of the NCAA tournament. Yes. Yeah. In 2001, he was a first round pick in the NBA draft, signing with the New Jersey Nets. And in 2016, he won the NBA championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Alexa, what are Richard Jefferson's lifetime stats? Do they have Richard that? Jefferson averaged 12.6 points, four rebounds, and two assists per game in his career while winning one championship. Did that answer your question? It damn right it did. <laughs> gosh, that's, gosh, I was a little nervous. He continued his career as a game and studio analyst for ESPN. Yes. So you're a TV star. Uh, I wouldn't say star. Come on. You can say it. In 2008, the University of Arizona named the Richard Jefferson Gymnasium in his honor. Yes. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I would love to have a gymnasium named after me. Really? I mean, especially for the confusion it would cause. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why, it's like the confusion is definitely high up there. Alexa, sports lighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of like disco lighting, right? That's, is that sports lighting? Well, you know what? Tell me. It turns out my guest today was Richard Jefferson, who we already uncovered. Yes, you figured it out. Richard Jefferson yes. from the Richard Jefferson Gymnasium. Gymnasium. Yes. Thank you so much my for coming. My pleasure. This was, this was, uh, uh, no, that, that's. <laughs>
Now, a pot, what would what you bring, would to, a you bring to a potluck? <laughs> what would you bring to a potluck? I don't think I've ever been to a potluck. A casserole of some sort? Like, I, honestly, I don't... You haven't been to a no, potluck? No, I don't do potluck. Are you... I'm, I'm socially likable? I am socially likable. I'm just potluck averse. What right? would you bring to a potluck? Was the question, sir. Um, <laughs> baked let's, ziti. Let's... Baked ziti. It's easy. It's simple. How do you make it? I don't know. You just bake it. <laughs> I mean, you uh, bake it. You take I mean, the ziti and you bake don't... it. Uh, Alexa, could I get a recipe for baked ziti? Okay. I recommend baked ziti. One hour, five minutes to make. Serves eight. Would you like to start recipe? I'm going to have a potluck, and I'm going to directly invite you, sir. Okay, very good. And you will be the only person invited. <laughs> and it'll be me and you eating okay. eight portions of baked ziti. Yes, <laughs> right. I'm Just relax and enjoy the sounds, everybody. What is this? This is Funny or Die TV. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to do a fun fact. Now, does this guaranteed to be fun, or is this just what you call these things? It's just guaranteed to be a fact. Got it. <laughs> your voice is your moneymaker. That is fun. You're right. <laughs> it is. Are you a, um, a sports person? Well, um, I've got this board with me, and it shows that uh, comedian Tig Notaro has uh, two Grammy nominations in My her career. God. Your setup to punchline ratio is a fantastic Hall of Fame worthy one to one. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of laughs per minute, 4.49 on occasion can be actually taken down, but when you connect, you absolutely connect with <laughs> lightning speed. And then celebrities recognized according to this show you're still at zero, which means there's nowhere to go but up. And back to you, Tig. <laughs> you're a sports commentator. Pretty much, that's what I do. Do you for do play-by-play? Yes. Tig Notaro, yeah. I, I on occasion will do it, but more often than not, I'm a, I'm a studio sports host. And did you move here trying to get into sports? I realized many, many years ago that. I could talk it better than I could play it. I'm gonna go to the reveal. Oh, well, that's where you keep the reveal envelope there, yeah, huh? Yeah, we need a very big box. For a very small envelope. Yeah. What a great show. Reveal. What a special moment. Well, that's several cards there. Okay. My guest today is a sports broadcaster mm -hmm. for the NFL Network. That's right. And hosts numerous shows, including the annual coverage of the NFL Draft. Correct. The Hall of Fame Induction Weekend. Fact. He was also the first on-air talent added to the NFL Network roster and has since earned four Emmy nominations for his work as a sportscaster. Facts. That ain't too shabby. You're spitting truth right now, Tig. But do you have any Grammy nominations? I don't. You, last I checked, <laughs> have two. And one Emmy. One Emmy nomination. Why is that not up there? Okay. He has guest starred on TV shows including The League. Mm-hmm. At Midnight, mm -hmm. and played himself in the movie Draft Day. Did you see that movie? What do you think? <laughs> His charity event, Run Rich Run, has raised over a million dollars for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. That's phenomenal. Thank you. He currently hosts The Rich Eisen Show. Oh, th is that you? That's me. <laughs> Turns out, my guest today was Rich Eisen. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Alexa, add Watch the Rich Eisen Show to my to-do list, please. I have added Watch the Rich Eisen Show to your to-do list. Yes. Fantastic. Rich Eisen, thank you so much for coming to Under a Rock with pleasure. Tig Notaro. Thanks so much, Tig. What a pleasure to meet what you. What a nice handshake. That's my pleasure to shake your hand. Well, Does I this was... mean that if we do cross paths again? you will know who I am and recognize me. If you show up at my house with a casserole of baked ziti and I don't know who you are, then I, there's a medical condition going okay. on. Okay. <laughs>